Good evening and welcome to the public hearing for the design project on State Road 200 from north of Citrus County Line to south of County Road 484 in Marion County. Project number 238651-1-52-01. It is Tuesday, September 13, 2016. The project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation District 5 is Mr. Nazru Isaac. With us this evening are various members of the Florida Department of Transportation. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record of this project. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who completed a speaker request card will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone to make comments. Any questions will be answered after the public hearing portion of this meeting. If you did not pick up a card at the registration desk, Project staff will distribute cards to anyone wishing to give a verbal statement. If you do not wish to speak publicly, you may also make a comment directly to the court reporter after the presentation. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Florida Statute Section 339.155, Section 335.199, and Section 120.525. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to express their views relative to this project. Notice of this public hearing was published in the Ocala Star Banner on August 23rd and September 4th, 2016. Public participation at this hearing is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 506, Deland, Florida, 32720, phone number 386-943-5367, email address jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us or Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, Phone number 850-414-4753. Email address Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state.fl.us or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. The purpose of the public hearing is to share information about the Roadway Improvements Design Project on State Road 200. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The Florida Department of Transportation is proposing to widen the existing two-lane roadway to four lanes, add a 40-foot grass median, bridges for wildlife, pedestrian trail access and equestrians, and wildlife fences along portions of FDOT right-of-way. As previously mentioned, this project addresses State Road 200 from north of the Citrus County line to south of County Road 484 as shown on the project location map. With the abundance of natural and preservation areas, the Ross Prairie State Forest and the Cross Florida Greenway Trail on the corridor, it is important that provisions are made for both people and animals to be able to cross the road safely. FDOT is proposing to make several improvements to this segment of State Road 200, including widening to four lanes, adding a 40-foot grass median similar to this photo, constructing four different crossings under the roadway, two for wildlife, one for pedestrian trail crossing, and one equestrian crossing, and the erection of a 16-foot wildlife fence on FDOT right-of-way on portions of the corridor. The design plans available here this evening illustrate these features in more detail. 
This proposed typical section shows the future configuration of four travel lanes and a grass median. All work will take place within the existing right-of-way. Along with the widening of State Road 200, the changes being proposed are part of what we call access management planning, which deals with the location, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections. If you have more questions about access management, the Florida Department of Transportation has produced an access management brochure. It is written in a question and answer format where commonly asked questions are answered in a way that is easy to understand. Copies of this brochure are available here this evening, or you can download a PDF file of the brochure from FDOT's Access Management website. The design for this project is currently underway and is expected to be complete by early 2017. This project is not yet funded for construction. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. A court reporter is present to record a statement from anyone wishing to do so. Please give us your comments by submitting a speaker request card found at the registration table or by filling out a comment card and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card by September 23, 2016. If you do not feel comfortable speaking in front of an audience, you may make a statement to the court reporter directly after the presentation. You can also give us your input by emailing nazaru.isaac at dot.state.fl.us. All comments, whether written or oral, will become part of the project's public record. We will now pause to collect any speaker request cards from audience members wishing to make a statement for the record. We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes and please remember that we will not be answering any questions at this time. The project staff will be available at the displays after the formal presentation to answer any questions you may have. We will now call out the names of individuals who have filled out a speaker request card in the order we have received them. When you come to the microphone, please state your full name, your street address, and then give your statement for the court reporter to record. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, please contact Mr. Nazaru Isaac at the address or email shown on this slide, or you may call him at 386-943-5547. You can also keep up to date with this project, as well as others in the area, by checking the cflroads.com website. Thank you for taking the time to attend this hearing and we appreciate your participation. We look forward to receiving your comments on this project.